So now we're going to solve a question from a past paper about bond energies and how to calculate the delta H of reactants and products. And let's see how that goes. Well, let's start. It says here, a student uses a table of average bond energies to calculate the value of the enthalpy of combustion of methane. Well, the enthalpy of combustion is basically the delta H, okay? Now, if you need to pause the video at any time, please do so. This video will have a lot of calculations and I would suggest you'd have a calculator beside you in order to do the calculations yourself and practice. Okay, now let's see the table right here. So this table gives you every bond and how much this bond, how much energy this bond holds. Okay, now and he also gives you the reaction. I says here, this is methane CH4, and this is O2, and CO2, and here there is water. Okay, but he gives you how the bond the and the bonds are formed. So here, let's take a look. He asks you later, calculate the energy taken when the bond in the reaction when the bonds in the reaction are broken. So he basically asks you for the delta H of reactants. Okay, this is what the question is about. So let's see. The reactants in this case are methane and oxygen. Now, let's see. Here methane has four CH bonds. Okay, so there's four CH bonds and do this in the exam. Cross the bonds you counted. So there's four CH bonds. Okay. Now, plus we have two OO bonds. Oxygen bonded to oxygen. Now let's calculate this. Let's look at the table. The CH bond is worth 412, so it's 4 times 412 plus 2 times, let's check the table for the OO bond, it's 496, so 2 times 496, do the math, you would get 2640 kilojoules, don't forget the units, okay, but usually in the exam they would leave the number blank for you and they would right then the the unit themselves okay now let's look at the next question the next question asks you this calculate the energy taken when the bonds in the products are formed so he wants you to calculate h of products now let's take a look at the reaction again our products are carbon dioxide and water now the same thing goes how to calculate this and pay attention very well because in this part there is a common exam problem pay attention okay so we have two co bonds so we write two co bonds plus now take a look at this we have two oh bonds and two moles of that so we have two into two into four six three okay which is how much the HO bond is worth okay and let's see how the CO bond is worth well it's worth seven four three so let's do the math so it's two times four seven three plus 4 into 4, 6, 3. Now, this would be equal to 3, 3, 3, 8 kilojoules. Okay? This is the exam, the common exam mistake, is that students put 2 times 1 HO bond. No, it's 2 HO bonds times 2 moles of that. Okay? Now, the final part, he asks you this. 
Use your answers in part I and double I to calculate the enthalpy change. And the enthalpy change is basically delta H. Now, my teacher back in high school taught me this. Delta H is basically equal to bonds broken minus bonds form. And you can memorize that by I break bonds with my best friend. Okay, if it's easier for you to memorize it that way, then please do so. Well, I still remember it. Okay. So, how do we calculate delta H? Well, the bonds broken are in the reactants. So, it's delta H would be H of reactants minus H of products. Okay. Now, that would be 2640 minus 3338 and it would give minus 698 kilojoules well he doesn't ask you about this but I am going to what does the negative sign indicate the negative sign indicates that the reaction is exothermic therefore the combustion of methane is an exothermic reaction so this reaction right here is exothermic since it yields a negative delta H. So that's it for this video. I hope this example has cleared what bond energy is about and how do we calculate the enthalpy of formation and the, I mean enthalpy of combustion of methane. And I would suggest you would do this again on your own and redo the math. I think by the next time you do it, it would be easier for you and uh, I'm going to do another example in another video about the graphs of exo and endothermic reactions. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.